that he can oh no not have to worry about no. early aggression he's we were actually wrong he's not making banshees at all oh. he's got the reactor on his starboard already he's got another tech lab on the factory Maybe getting stim factory. earlier this time which i actually agree with he was getting stim yep. pretty late in those other games and we've yeah, got another it, barracks it almost cost him but the those mutas didn't do that much damage. They were more annoying than anything. Yeah. Like, you could just... I, I don't know if anyone else could felt this way, but I could feel the frustration. Hmm. Hmm. So, got a lot of lings here, actually. There is 31 lings. Though, even on the drone and SUV camp, so... What's that? Baneling Nest just finishing up now. Boost. About oh. 50 away. We have seven roaches on the way. This is definitely early aggression. He wants to end this oh, game. Yeah. Although he's making another third, so I don't know. Just Probably just for a contingency plan. I guess. guess. This doesn't do as much damage as he wants to be able to. No, that's a lot that of units. He needs to start moving these across the map, I think. I got a lot of units. A lot, a lot of units. We got nice. here. Okay, now he's... Clive's beginning to pull ahead in the SCV camp, too. Yeah. With all these units. Ahead of 41, again. Okay, so and these these need... This needs to do some damage. It does. Although, Acme's got a... in the last few games that every time Clive is pulling ahead in SCVs, Acme is just not having an easy time. It's causing him a lot of trouble. See, we've got a 20 supply lead here. Well, I'll say 20 is 15 now, but it was 20. Oh, hey, look, a Viking. Viking is actually going to see this. Now, is Clive paying attention? He'll know that this is coming. Mm -hmm. He will, yeah, he does notice. He unloads his medevac. He was going to go for a drop. He raises that. I don't know how yeah, effective... Two siege tanks. Oh, Bunker man. Is full. He this lost is... some units here. Siege this tanks. is going to be very hard for him to bust down the front. There's no speed on the banelings. He sees the banelings morphing, too. He knows yeah. this is coming. All right, it's going in. The Banelings a little slow, but... No, he lost so many units for nothing. Oh, the Banelings do tear through in the front. That they was not cost-efficient. The there are Lings pouring in, but they're not coming in to help. No, those Lings are just getting picked off by the siege tank up here. This is not cost-efficient at all. unfortunate. Well, those Lings are going to go for the tank, but they're not going to get it, and those Roaches are all going to die by doing roaches a little bit of damage. A few SCVs, but definitely... Definitely not how Ackman was hoping that would turn out. He killed six workers this whole game. Just six. Oh. And he lost a lot of stuff for it, too. Yep, that was quite a bit. And now he's making 12 more lings. I don't think he should continue this aggression. I don't think it's going to work. No, he... Ackman has now gotten a little bit further ahead in the drone count, but it was at a very large cost. Clive is ahead in supply now, too. Yes, he is. He's taking the supply lead. But... He does have to actually does have to third base. So if he can just you know hold off, not lose anything more, not die to a counterattack or anything, just get this third base going, he'll start soaring ahead because there is not even a command center building. Oh no, never mind. I'm actually wrong because it's already finished. Like it's actually <laughs> just one step ahead of me, which he is, is fair. He's ready for whenever he feels comfortable to take that expansion. I, I don't think he's going to feel comfortable doing. He's that that, oh. that siege tank is actually trapping all of his units on the ramp. That it is. <laughs> oh, oh, do something about Dad, this don't don't attack your command center either. No, no you you definitely don't want to destroy your own buildings. It's kind of counterproductive. Oh, he just attacked. I think I think nerves might be has something to do with here. There are a lot of links now. Yeah, combat shield about to finish up. Uh, he's actually going two two, two two on infantry. And one one is only just like he's got the level one carapace yeah, upgrade, the but armor, he doesn't. The armor upgrades up, but. Melee for Zerg is not even finished yet. That's... I don't know. It's There are a lot of lings now, though. I, there are a lot of lings, but this is... As long as he doesn't move out, like, like as long as Clive doesn't move out right now oh, onto the map. Could, though. Or he could... No, he's just going to set up a he's forward just, position for the defense. Uh, I, uh, that yeah. was a drifting siege tank. Listen, siege tanks are... Look, they've got, like, Space wheels and they. I don't know. Oh yeah, the link dies now. Now Clive is worried about some attack. Yep. Well, siege tanks are attacking the destructible rocks. I actually okay. I'm gonna explain why I don't like siege tanks attacking destructible rocks. Because if they're siege and they're attacking destructible rocks and you get attacked, 
the siege tanks will continue to attack the destructible rocks, and you need to manually target it, all of the siege tanks and get them to shift focus from the, the mm. destructible rocks. Which I understand it. A lot of damage you lose out just in that time, and if you don't notice, that would be terrible. Even like the second, like that's a second they're not firing. Like that initial shot does so much damage with all those siege tanks. Like I, mm. oh, hey, look, a lot of barracks going up over here. It's gonna be very hard for links to come in and counterattack this. And Bane links morphing though. Uh, He's probably just gonna try and run straight through that army and just destroy it in one in one shot, but. Uh, we have a 30 supply lead for Clyfe, but he's That's Acme is taking his fourth base now. Centrifugal hooks just for to finish. Melee got. attacks two from Zerg coming out, but it's so Humanized Carapace left. coming up. I actually don't know what that upgrade is. I'm not gonna lie, I, I actually feel really dumb right now. What is that upgrade? Which one? Uh, new. Pneumatized carapace? Yeah, what is that for? I was actually temp uh, tempted to ask you. <laughs> oh boy, my StarCraft knowledge has failed me here. I am so sorry. I have no idea what that is. Now, I mean, I'm just a Bronze League baddie, so I can kind of get away with that. I know, I, I was Diamond. A diamond player, not I was something. Diamond. That's... I was a thing once. I was never a Zerg player, though. I mean, as far as I know, they just build shit like this and come kill you. Oh, here we go! Oh, big and Here we go! Bainling's hitting pretty well into those Marines. Oh, so many marines going so down. Failing so strong. Away, and all the tanks are they, going to Tanks die. are going to die. Everything everything dies everything here. Everything dies, but Clyfe is still in the lead for supply. I feel like he can just trade this army. more lings coming up. Melee attacks 2 will be finished by the time that those get arrive. Yeah, well, seeing he lost all of those units, he's still got 32 siege tanks, 32 marines. Wow. He's still very He's far keeping up on his macro, time. actually. Well, I mean, his macro's... I will give him the benefit of doubt, because he's around 500 most times. He's got three bases. Yep. Uh, he need, I think he needs a bit more production building, so... I mean, he could definitely use those. Acme is stockpiling gas. Oh, he actually took that money and used it to get his 3-3. Three, three. Oh, and they're just about to come up, too. Well, yeah, and that's against the 2-1. 2-1 is what Zerg player has. wonder if he has made another command center maybe think about expanding again? That's his main. It's almost right up here. Yep. He does have the third completely saturated and a nice barracks wall. Yeah. Oh, there's a marine drop here at the fourth base and killed... I don't know what you don't see. Yeah, he killed, he killed like 11 drones there. Picks up when the Zerglings come. Goes to the... You know what? I actually missed a drop in the main. Everything is really yeah, dead here. Say, Everything is dead here! Oh, jeez! I am so sorry. Holy yeah, crap. Both of us managed to miss that one. That's we are so huge. bad at casting. That, like, everything in the main got taken out. See, this is why we suck at the game. We have no map awareness. Yep, yeah, that, that map awareness. Very important. <laughs> I mean, you have an excuse. I one time had map awareness. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff here. Like, yeah. right here. That, dra that drop is being a very big nuisance, but I might be just... Oh, siege up those tanks! Siege up those tanks, man! And no, no, don't move out right now. No! Oh, uh, oh, he's moving into the entire army! Actually, that's not that much! Siege, but only half the army moves! Acme doesn't even... That's move. actually... Oh, man, those mainlings actually got some really good hits, despite not being microed at all. Yeah. He didn't even that, notice, though. If that that's entire, actually that GG. Together, that, 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 yes, that GG. Idea. GG. Clive takes the series 3-1 in a surprise upset. Although Acme did manage to win one game, so he's still going to go to the finals. And Clive will have to face Steve O'Wo in Aug early August to see who will face Acme in the finals of this BPL. I'm Although that was very... Upset, considering that is how the games have been going. That was... That was so well, so well Life played. performing very well. And as he has just messaged me here, if you guys on stream can see, he feel, felt like quite a boss in Game 3. Direct quotes. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I checked the chat in time to see my brother go, I would make a terrible news reporter, <laughs> because I would say everything is dead here. We missed. We 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 missed that. I am very sorry, guys. Yeah, that that was bad. That was that was so bad. That was so bad. Yep. I have actually no no excuse. That was just bad. Yep. Very sorry about missing that one, but we got oh. the rest of the game. 
I feel like we make a pretty good casting combo, despite being atrociously awful. Yes, I, I would have to agree. And I also agree with Clive's assertion that he felt like a boss. Now, if Clive manages to take out Steve O'Wall, which I feel like is going to be an excellent series, we actually will see a rematch of this. And based on the games we saw here, it's going to be a very, very, very exciting finals. But yeah. congratulations to Clive for taking this series in an upset. Upset? I will say upset. And congratulations to Acme for managing to go to the finals. So this has been Steelkeeper here with my special guest caster, Josh Wells, and we will be signing off.